Let's turn to China's iron brother, Pakistan. It is busy hosting the Russian foreign minister. A day after his visit to India, Sergei Lavrov flew to Islamabad. This is the first visit by a Russian foreign minister to Pakistan in nine years. The Imran Khan government is going out of its way to woo Russia's top diplomat. What is it hoping for in return? And more importantly, can it pay for the wares? Here's a report. It is the first time in nine years that a Russian foreign minister is in Islamabad. No wonder Pakistan wanted to make every moment count. Pakistan's foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi was at the airport to welcome the special guest. They bumped elbows for the cameras. They even planted a tree. A bit of a contrast from his visit to India where no trees were planted and no meeting with the Prime Minister was held. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was busy campaigning for state elections. In Pakistan, Imran Khan went all out to quote the Russian. He had a one-on-one -on -one dialogue with him. Sergei Lavrov reciprocated to this warm reception. He came bearing gifts. Russia will give more Sputnik V vaccines to Pakistan. So far, Moscow has given 50,000 doses. Enough to kickstart a commercial rollout of the shot in Pakistan. After this visit, Russia will send 150,000 more doses. Lavrov even said that Russia is ready to supply Pakistan with special military equipment. How will Pakistan pay for them? Neither side addressed the question. Instead, they chose to dwell on Afghanistan. It was the main item on the agenda. The impending withdrawal of American troops and the peace talks that have failed to yield a deal so far. We've also uh, discussed uh, the Afghan situation. Today, Russia and Pakistan see eye to eye uh, on a lot of issues that are being discussed in Afghanistan. Uh, we are both interested in restoring peace and stability and there's very good cooperation taking place on that score. What he did not mention was where the instability was stemming from. That's something Lavrov raised. The growing terrorist activity in Afghanistan, a potential spillover to Central Asia and new security challenges for the region. We we are also concerned by the deterioration of the security situation in areas of Afghanistan and by the rise of terrorist activity and ISIS positions in the north and east of the country. Despite these concerns, it looks like Russia is keen on deepening ties with Pakistan. It is offering vaccines and weapons to Islamabad. It's also building a gas pipeline between Karachi and Lahore. Remember, both Pakistan and Russia maintain close contacts with the Taliban. During his visit to India, Lavrov stressed on the need to include the Taliban in any political settlement. To push that point, Moscow is relying on Islamabad. Pakistan has been sheltering insurgents and supporting them militarily for years now. With an American exit now imminent, Russia seems to be placing its bets on Pakistan to inject itself into the final negotiations. But with America dictating the terms of engagement so far, Russia could be betting on the wrong horse. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.